Hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics and we are entering the first week of May 2024. We are a mere three days away from Free Comic Book Day. So no matter where you're listening to this video, you can go to freecomicbookday.com, put in your zip code and find out what local stores are participating. Uh, Want to know more about Free Comic Book Day? Well, I've got you covered as I will have a video out later this week looking at all the free comics that are coming out. So. Get ready for that one. Anyway, it's on to new comics and covers. So uh, before we begin, downtowncomics.com is the place to go to check out all the stuff that may not be on the table, order it, pay for it, whatever. And of course, liking, sharing, and subscribing is always appreciated. So it is the last week of the month, so we'll start with DC, who is on their official skip week. And that means it's time for DC annuals and one-shots. We're going to start with the Flash annual. And then we're going to go to the Nightwing Annual. Uh, let me see if I can get a better look at that cover. There we go, because that is a cool cover. And then, of course, DC Celebrating Spring with a one-shot called the DC Spring Breakout. And he's smiling as he's holding that bat. I don't know. Is he going to play baseball or beat someone over the head with it? Oh, maybe it's baseball. There's Harley Quinn. And there we go. So... The DC Spring Breakout one-shot. And then uh, Harley Quinn also gets an annual. So there we go. And lastly, tying into the House of Brainiac crossover storyline. So if you're reading Action and Superman, you're going to want to pick this one-shot up. They're labeling it uh, 2.5. So, yep, pick this one-shot up to uh, fill you in on all those details. And, yes, that's it for DC this week. So... There you go. All right, on to Independence. We've got a new issue of The Fog. We've got a new issue of Zorro. Zorro. Guma. And so we have a new one. So this is Bear Pirate Viking Queen. So there you go. There, there was an old one called, what was it, Cowboy Viking Ninja? I forgot. It was way long ago. It was kind of cool. I don't know if this is related to that at all, but Bear, Pirate, Viking, Queen. Uh, our Spawn book for this week is King Spawn. Uh, we have a new issue of Basic Instinct. Lilo and Stitch hits number three. Uh, we have a new one from Dark Horse, Lester of the Lesser Gods. Ranger Academy. And tying into the Nacelle verse, which um, takes a bunch of properties that you may or may not have ever heard of, Roboforce gets a comic. There we go. And then we're going to go through our latest in the G.I. Joe verse uh, reprint. So we've got Cobra Commander. They're on number three. So that's uh, the third reprint of number one. Void Rivals, this is number five, and it is the fourth printing of number five. Void Rivals number three is on a fifth printing. My fifth printing. All right, Duke number three is on a second printing. And lastly, Transformers number one is on a sixth printing. Really, there's there's no excuse anymore. If you haven't gotten these by now, let's let's get on it, all right? They just keep reprinting them. All right, and our big independent launch this week is the return of Space Ghost. So Dynamite has the license. And, you know, I mean, they're starting off with some pretty cool covers. So shiny. There we go, a little Hanna-Barbera-like. And even more shiny covers if you're into that. All right, so Space Ghost, big launch today, or this week, I should say. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales celebrating uh, May the 4th be with you in their own special way. Uh, Minor Threats, issue two, the latest in that miniseries. Another reprint, Helen of Windhorn, has been very popular. It gets a second printing, I believe. Yes, a second printing of number one. Crave hits number six. And we have our Savage Sword of Conan, our magazine size Conan book, hits number two. All right, and then uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. All right, let's see. That's Minor Threats. I'm going to put that right there. That's another cover. All right, so we have another magazine size from Distillery. 
So they're the ones that publish in this format. This is a new one, and it's called The Blood Brothers Mother. And it's by Bran, ah, Brian Azzarello and Edward Rizzo, who did 100 Bullets back in the day. So, yeah, this is probably going to be kind of a hardcore Western. So if you're into that, maybe a little Red Dead Redemption action. Uh, the Whisper Queen is new. And it says it's a sequel to The White Trees. So there you go. So The Whisper Queen. Um, issue one. Uh, Godzilla, The War for Humanity hits number five. And the Sonic the Hedgehog miniseries Fang hits number four. All right, so that's all the independents. And let's go to Marvel. All right, we have uh, some X-Men stuff this week. Weapon X-Men, number three. Why? I don't know. I just tried to make the table look fuller. All right, Weapon X-Men, number three. All right, and then we've got the fifth printing of Ultimate Spider-Man number one. So again, if you haven't picked it up, they keep reprinting it. The Power Pack miniseries continues. Spider-Woman hits number seven. And we are celebrating, my gosh, 25 years since the Phantom Menace was released. Oh, boy. And anyway, I believe it is returning to theaters this weekend for special engagement, and we also have this one shot. So there you go. Celebrate one of the better lightsaber battles in movie history. So Immortal Thor, number 10. We've got The Hulk, number 12. And Invincible Iron Man, still wrapping up the Fall of X tie-in. Oh, well, there's no other covers. Number 18. And yes, we will get to the aforementioned Blood Hunt in a second, but we have our first tie-in. So the new Moon Knight book is officially a tie-in to the Blood Hunt event. And we also see the return of Nick Fury in a miniseries. So Get Fury is coming out this week. Oh, man, the glare. So sorry about that. I don't know what to do about it. It's bad lighting. All right, so now we're at Blood Hunt. All right, so this is the big event from Marvel. It's Vampires Galore. So this one, we have a polybagged explicit content. So this is their first four-way, for, foray, foray into R-rated material in what is you know considered PG-13 uh, company. So there you go. If you want to see all the blood and gore, then you can buy it and open up the bag. Otherwise... We've got the regular blood hunt. So here we go. Covers. Go. Covers. Covers. That's cool. Old school blade. Shiny. Can't get away without shiny. More shiny. And just really cool art. All right, there we go. So blood hunt number one, it begins. Then we've got the penultimate issue of the latest run of X-Men. Hits 34. And lastly, yes, more Deadpool stuff as Deadpool and Wolverine combine for a miniseries called WW3. So there we go. A few covers there. All right. So, yeah, not a big week, obviously, as you can see. Lots of empty table compared to last week especially. But... Uh, good week, some solid titles, and we've got free comic book day coming up in uh, Saturday. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Oh, get off of that one. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.